All right, in this video, we're gonna be looking at the ATEM software control and how to change the buttons in the ATEM software control. So here I am, uh, on this is the ATEM software control here. And you can see here, that when you're switching, you can actually use the, the, the software control to switch. So if I hit camera one right here, it's gonna take me to this right here. If I hit camera two, it's gonna take me to my overhead camera. If I hit camera three, this is my handheld action camera right there. And then camera four is what it says is my PC right here. I can also turn on and off myself down here in the bottom corner there. And I'll show you how to do all of that here. But I want to change the labels of these. I don't wanna just say camera one, camera two, camera three, camera four. And in fact, if I go to multi-view here, uh, you can see here on the multi-view, it just has uh, camera one, camera two, camera three, camera four. And maybe I want those to be labeled different. Um, so when I, in order to do that, in the software control in the bottom left-hand corner, there's this little gear icon. And that gear pulls up these this uh, settings tab. And we're gonna go over to the labels tab right here. And we're gonna create our own labels for both uh, what we, we see on the buttons right here and for what we see in the multi-cam. So on this one, this is like my, my, uh, my face cam right here. So I'm gonna just type in face cam and I'm gonna tab over and I'm gonna keep that as camera one, but if I wanted to, I could, I could call it face or something like that. Uh, matter of fact, you know what, I'll do that. I'll call it face for now. Uh, I'll make that those capitals so it's easier to read. And then uh, camera two, again, is my overhead. So let's call it overhead. And uh, maybe I'll just do this, uh, I'll call this uh, over. And then camera three is my action cam. And maybe I'll call this action. Um, yeah, we'll do that. And then uh, the four was the PC. That's what we're looking at right now. So I'm gonna call this the computer and I'll call this uh, PC, just like that. And then I will hit save, and you'll notice as soon as I hit save, these labels will change to, um, to what we just created them. So we can see face over action PC right there. And if we go to multi-view, we can see face cam, overhead, action cam, and computer. So pretty cool that, that uh, that's how simple it is to create these uh, as well. So um, also, uh, so, I mean, this is just, this just makes it very, very simple, very easy to use um, on the labeling of them. Now, I don't know why they did this, but on the, um, this gear icon does like half things, and then there's another section that does d another half of things that you need to know. So if I wanted to right here, if I go to file, and I click preferences, I wish they had just all put this into preferences, but they didn't, and I go to mapping, I could actually change the way that this, uh, these, with the order of these buttons. So even though on this, I'm, you know, my face cam is in, in HDMI one, my overhead is HDMI two, my action cam is HDMI three, and my PC is HDMI four, if I wanted to, I could actually change the order of those here. So uh, let's say if I wanted to put uh, button one, what if I wanted to make that the computer? And then I wanted to change the face cam to button four. So you can see it switched it up there. I hit OK. And then now um, right here, if I hit camera, if I hit one, it's going to go to the computer. Well, it should have. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? Uh, I forgot that it'll only do this for the actual, uh, the software control here. So if, if I'm on here, um, if I hit PC right here, if I hit face cam, it's gonna take me to the face cam and the PC here. So this only works uh, on the software control. It's not going to adjust the buttons on the, uh, the ATEM itself. So um, I'm gonna go back in there and uh, let me go to PC here. I'm gonna go back in here and change those around because for me, it actually makes more sense to keep them as much as I can on the same inputs there. So I'm gonna hit okay, and that's gonna switch those back. So there I am, there's my face, and I can go to the PC. Um, and uh, so that, that's how you would change the, the labeling of these. Um, but, but it's actually nice to be able to do that because 
um, it's nice to be able to, to just easily identify what you're looking at. You know, it's face, overview, action, PC. I don't have to memorize camera one, camera two, camera three, camera four. Another thing you can do, let me go to uh, my little camera here. Um, you can use on the software control, you can use your one, two, and three buttons to do things. If I hit one, watch this uh, as I hit the, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and you'll see on the, the software control here, let me just switch over to it. I hit one and see that it turned green right there. Two, three, four. You can use your keypad on your uh, on your 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 computer here, and it doesn't matter which one. If I could use this uh, these over here if I wanted to as well, but um, that's a great way to switch. If I hit enter, it's going to do a cross dissolve into uh, into that, and so it's like your auto button. I'm going to hit enter again and come back to that. But if I hit the space bar. It does a cut. So that's just a great way to be able to use uh, a keyboard. So, you know, sometimes people uh, don't prefer to have this here. Um, and this is actually made more for the other ATEMs that don't have a hardware switcher. Uh, but it, it is nice to know that you have those features as, as well. If, if you wanted to, you could uh, have your uh, computer to control this if you wanted to just easily be able to, to do transitions here. Uh, with this and go maybe you just wanted to do the the space bar for the different ones so um, anyway that was just a little little tip there but uh, mostly that's it that's how you change the 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 labeling of these and you can see with uh, up here with the the, the program uh, out um, the the four different inputs there they're labeled face cam overhead action cam and computer which I really like so um, anyway, hopefully that video is helpful to you if you're trying to figure out how to put uh, labels on everything. If you like this video and you like this kind of content, please do me a favor and subscribe to this channel. And uh, if you have a question about the A10 Mini or the A10 Mini Pro that you don't have an answer to and I might be able to help you out, I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments below. And Kenneth Russell, thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.